Table 10 is waiting for their shrimp fried rice. If you're this slow, I'll finish it myself. Hold on. Stop paying for voiceovers right now, because there's an open source model that clones voices with such realism it instantly rivals the biggest paid tools on the market? My fellow Americans, and I use that term loosely because some of you are still using light mode on your phones, we are facing a crisis, a huge crisis, the likes of which we have never seen. I sat down with the Joint Chiefs, I said, General, why are we paying $999 for a toaster? He didn't have an answer. Nobody had an answer. I'm talking about a tool that generates 90 straight minutes of audio, handles four speakers at once, and runs without a massive GPU. Yeah, you heard that right. Today, I am putting Vibe Voice through the ringer to see if it actually lives up to the hype. Let's talk about what makes this thing a beast. Vibe Voice is Microsoft's answer to the text-to-speech world, and honestly, it is the strongest open-source competitor to Eleven Labs I have tested to date. We are looking at a 1.5 billion parameter model that does not mess around. The crazy part is that Microsoft initially released a larger version that was so good at voice cloning, they actually pulled it offline. But the internet never forgets. People grabbed copies, fine-tuned them, and now we have this smaller model that is fully open source with an MIT license. That means you can use it commercially, for free, with zero strings attached. The best part? The model file is only about 5.4 gigabytes. If you have a budget GPU, you can run this locally. If you don't have a GPU at all, don't worry. I am going to show you how to run this completely free on Google Colab, and the setup takes literally a couple of minutes. All right, so let me walk you through how to actually use this thing. If you check out the Vibe Voice GitHub page, which I'll link in the description, there's a Try On Colab button. You could use that, but I'm going to show you a better workflow that includes a Gradio interface, which makes everything way more user-friendly. I'll link this specific Colab notebook in the description. Once you open it, you're going to see a really simple interface. All you have to do is click Run All, confirm with Run Anyway, and boom, it's off to the races. First, it connects to a free T4 GPU. Then it clones the GitHub repo, installs all the requirements, and downloads the model. The whole thing wraps up in about a couple of minutes. Once that's done, you'll see two Gradio links pop up. One's a local URL, which we don't need since we're running this in Colab. The other is a public URL, and that's the one we want. The cool thing about the public URL is you can access it from any device, anywhere, while the Colab session runs in the background. So I'll click that, and just like that, we've got our live Gradio demo up and running. Okay, so now we're looking at the interface. By default, it's set to two speakers, but you can bump that up to four if you want to create a full panel discussion or something. For today's tests, I'm going to start with single speaker voice cloning. Then we'll try a two speaker podcast to see how it handles conversations. There are more than 10 default voices in here, male, female, English voices, but honestly, I don't care about the default voices. We're here to test the voice cloning, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Scroll down a bit and you'll see Upload Custom Voices. This is where you drop in the few seconds audio sample of the voice you want to clone. Below that, there are some advanced settings like CFG Scale, which is set to 1.3 by default and works pretty well there. You can tweak it if you want, but I'd recommend leaving it alone unless you're getting weird results. There's also a button to remove silence from the generated audio, but usually it doesn't produce silence anyway, so you probably won't need it. And here's something extra. There's a Generate Sample Podcast feature where you can enter any topic, specify how many speakers you want, and it'll generate a prompt you can feed into ChatGPT to create a full podcast script. Pretty neat, right? All right, time for the fun part. Let's clone some voices. First, I'm going to upload this pretty tricky to clone voice sample because of the accent and tone. Let me play it for you real quick so you know what we're working with. Not $999, not $799. Today, it's just $98. That's right, you heard me. Only $98. Don't wait, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone and call now. Okay, so I've uploaded that sample. Now, this is important. After you upload a voice, you have to click Add Uploaded Voice to Speaker Selection. If you skip this step, the cloning won't work. So I'll click that. And now, you can see my uploaded voice file has been added to the speaker list. Perfect. Now I'll give it a short script and hit Generate Podcast. Even though it says podcast, since we've only got one speaker selected, it's really just doing text-to-speech. This'll take a few seconds. While we wait, let me show you the GPU usage. 
If I check the Colab stats, it's only using about 5.7 gigabytes of VRAM. That's insane for a model this capable. You could legitimately run this on a budget gaming GPU. Okay, the audio's done. Let me play it for you. Is your life a mess? Are you lonely? Introducing the Emotional Support Brick. It doesn't talk back, it doesn't eat your snacks, and it's heavy enough to use as a doorstop. Other companies charge $50 for a rock, but we aren't other companies. Not $40, not $30. Today you can get your very own pet brick for just $9.96. That's right, less than 10 bucks for a literal piece of the earth. Call now and we'll throw in a tiny sweater for the brick absolutely free. Operators are standing by and they are very, very confused. So as you just heard, the voice cloning quality is impressive. It captured the tone, the cadence, everything. And this is the beauty of a Gradio demo. No coding required. Just click a button to download and you're good to go. Now let's step it up a notch. I've got a Donald Trump voice sample here. Let's see if Vibe Voice can handle cloning a well-known public figure. I'm going to upload this reference audio and give it a presidential style script. Let me play the reference so you can compare. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. All right, now let's generate and see what happens. Okay, here's the output. My fellow Americans, and I use that term loosely because some of you are still using light mode on your phones, we are facing a crisis, a huge crisis, the likes of which we have never seen. I sat down with the Joint Chiefs. I said, General, why are we paying $999 for a toaster? He didn't have an answer. Nobody had an answer. So tonight, I am signing an executive order. We are slashing the price. Not $700, not $400. Folks, we're talking $98. That is a tremendous deal, a beautiful deal. Believe me, I know deals. Pick up the phone. It's a matter of national security. God bless you, and God bless this incredibly low, low price. So yeah, that's pretty wild, right? It cloned Trump's voice really well. The intonation, the rhythm, even the little quirks, it's all there. And notice how almost no word error rate. I didn't catch any mispronunciations in that script. Sometimes they do happen, but since this is free and open source, you can just regenerate as many times as you need until it's perfect. All right, those were single voice tests. Now let's try the podcast feature with two speakers. I'll select two speakers from the top, and this time I'm going to clone one male voice and one female voice to see how it handles a conversation. First, I'll upload the first voice sample and add it as speaker one. Then I'll upload the second voice and add it as speaker two. Now I've got two cloned voices ready to go. For this to work, you need to format your script with speaker one and speaker two labels for each line of dialogue. Let me drop in a podcast script and generate. Okay, let's hear the result. I'm Evelyn, and I'm here to prove that I am always right. And I'm Ben, the guy who lives to be correct. Ben, we've been in this car for 20 minutes. Why are we passing the same giant chicken statue for the third time? So it does generate a two-speaker podcast, and the voices are distinct, which is great. But here's the weird part. It's also generating background music. Like, it's literally adding instrumental music behind the speech, which it absolutely should not be doing. This seems to be a quirk with the multi-speaker mode. It's not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something to be aware of. For single speaker use though, it's flawless. Let me do one more quick test with a female voice. I'll switch back to single speaker mode and upload this voice sample. Let me play the reference for you. I am the champion. No one can defeat me. All right, now I'll add it to the speaker list, give it a short script and generate. Here's the output. Ben, we've been in this car for 20 minutes. Why are we passing the same giant chicken statue for the third time? Once again, the similarity is spot on. The voice cloning is natural, expressive, and just sounds right. This is the kind of quality you'd expect from a paid service, not something you're running for free on Colab. So here's my final take. Vibe Voice is hands down the best open source TTS model I've tested so far. The voice cloning is ridiculously good, especially for clear, professional sounding voices. It handled the Trump voice like a champ, and the female voices came out supernatural. 
For more complex or unusual voices, it might not nail it every time, but for the vast majority of use cases, this thing delivers. The single speaker mode is basically flawless. The multi-speaker podcast mode has that background music issue, which is annoying, but hopefully that'll get fixed in future updates. And remember, this is MIT licensed, so you can use it for whatever you want. Personal projects, commercial work, doesn't matter. The fact that you can run this without a GPU or with just a tiny amount of VRAM makes it accessible to pretty much everyone. And generating 90 minutes of audio in one go? That's just insane. I'll drop all the links in the description. The Colab notebook I used, the GitHub repo, the Hugging Face page, all of it. Go try it out for yourself and let me know what you think in the comments. If you found this useful, smash that like button, drop a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.